Hey trail riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's crosshair passage comes to us from Acts 2.11, which says, We hear them speaking in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. The Daily Fire thought for today is, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and the prudent and revealed them to babes. Brand of the word passages for today is Genesis 11, 1 through 9, 1 Kings 17, 8 through 24, Matthew 15, 24, Luke 4, 25 through 27, Acts 1, 6 through 8, Acts 2, 4 through 6, and then verse 11. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is 2 Chronicles 14 and 15, Revelation 4, Haggai 2 and John chapter 3. Today we're going to be talking about Babel reversed. Reading the Bible from the beginning, we find ourselves being told about Israel, book after book, as if God were only the God of the Jews and had limited his interest to that tiny land and small nation. But as soon as we open the New Testament, the borders melt away and the wide world comes into view. True. Jesus did not say in his own ministry, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, Matthew 15, 24. Yet he spoke in Nazareth concerning the foreign widow, concerning the foreign widow helped by Elijah. His statement against racial discrimination infuriated the congregation, but he went to Canaan later, where he healed a girl who did not belong to Israel. After Jesus' resurrection, the disciples retained a Jewish outlook for their long-time thinking that their new faith belonged to Israel only. They even asked shortly before Jesus ascended, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And they said to them, it is, is it, it is not for you to know the times of the seasons which the Father puts into his own authority, but you shall receive power from the when the Holy Ghost comes upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me and to the ends of the earth. Acts 1, 6-8. People have been trying to outwit God. He confused their language so they would no longer be able to work together efficiently, effectively, and he scattered them to the face of the earth. Now the whole earth had one language and one speech. Genesis 11, 1. And the Lord confused the languages of all the earth, so the Lord scattered them abroad from the whole over the face of the earth. Genesis 11, 8. On the day of Pentecost, he poured out his spirit and reversed the curse, bringing knowledge of himself and understanding of his goodness to a great diversity of people. When the Holy Spirit fell, they spoke with the tongues of people from many different countries, displaying the ethnic interests of the Holy Spirit. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit, and they began to speak in other tongues. And as the Spirit gave them utterance, and there were dwelling in, in Jerusalem Jews, devout men, from every nation under the heavens. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together, and they were confused because everyone heard them speak in their own language. Acts 2, 4 through 6. He speaks in your language too. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the daily ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.